What are you doing over here? You look too good to be over here. You know that, right? Come here. Look at me. Why you look so good? Pop Psycho 100 Season 3, Episode 4, and let's jump right into this. Hey, I'm so excited, yo. Bruh. This has to stop happening. Mizato. Yo, what's going on, Mizato? Why, why does she look like... What happened? Bruh! The true founder. Hey, yo, are you good? Whoa, we're acting different. Mizato, what happened to you? Hmm. That's quite strange, huh? Oh my gosh, it tastes so good. The founder appears. Divine tree. Why did I read that backwards? How are y'all? What? L what? Oh, yeah, Psycho Helmet brainwashed these people, yo. She would, Tomei would never do this, man. Let's, let's be honest. Yeah, it's so random. It's so out of her character. I mean, he looked like you, Mob. Yeah, we got some... Okay, I mean... Really? It's the roots, man. Yeah. Ah, we said that right on time. The roots have been everywhere. We've been overlooking it this whole time. The broccoli. Yeah. How do we get rid of this broccoli, though, without causing an uproar with society and the believers? Oh my gosh! We're gonna destroy the broccoli! Oh, this is crazy! Oh, I'm loving this! This is kind of cool! Right? Because in a sense, uh, I was thinking, what is gonna be our objective for this season? Destroy the broccoli! I mean, unless they destroy the broccoli in this episode, but I doubt it, because the broccoli is something that's long-term, you know? The Divine Tree's bounty. I don't trust that. Oh, look at that kid looking at it! This stuff looks nasty, man. I'm not gonna lie to you. Those don't eat it, Teru. Don't eat it. Don't eat it, please. No. Ah, oh, he ate it. It's too late. Bruh, this dude pulled up on us. He's just standing there, menacingly. Oh my gosh. Oh, I thought Teru, it was done for Teru. I thought he was gone for the count. <laughs> oh, he's, oh, Teru means business. Oh, you need to link up with Mob and Serizawa. We need to work together. We got to destroy the tree. Oh my gosh, this is so sick. Whoa, we can't even attack. Oh snap, this is wild. That's not Kageyama! God, of course, like, alright, man. Wait, Teru, don't fall for this. No way. Oh! <laughs> Yo, he keep brainwashing him. Blessing. Okay, man. It's it's not a blessing if you're trying to change our mindset. If we don't like you, and you make us like you, that's brainwashing, bro. Are we gonna fight? Bring it on, Dimple. Look at that. Ah, that's the counter to it. Strong emotions. Which Mob has a bunch of. Ooh, this is gonna be awesome. Okay. What? What's wrong? Oh, snap. I remember him. 
That reminds me of um the lantern flies. I don't know if you guys know about that, but there's these new bugs going around that's destroying vegetation. I'm here to tell you right now, we don't care. <laughs> let me tell you, right, let me tell you, we don't care. Let me yeah, he's noticing the roots. Look at that. All the psychics are realizing this. You know what I mean? They're seeing the. Oh my gosh! Look at this <laughs> big mob. Yeah, he knows. He knows. Yeah, he dimple. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that's a cool line. <laughs> oh, snap. Oh, half? Wait a minute. No way we're halfway in the episode. They're lying. No way we're halfway. That's Cap. Like, where is everyone? It seems... Wait, really? Yeah, how do we, like, C4, explosives, like, lifted up with psychic powers, carried off sinking in the ocean? Okay. I see. That's a crazy plan. <laughs> this is gonna be a lot of work. Oh, I love this. Mmm. <laughs> Yeah, we, thank you. We we need your board, Ritsu. Come on, man. Oh, seeing the two brothers together is is so crazy. This guy definitely had some of that powder. Oh, they all had that powder, man. Of course, every, this is the talk around the town, man. No, yeah, uh, yeah, we're gonna have a bunch of people that hate us. <laughs> okay, I mean, I, I get. Don't eat that shit, man. No, don't give it to mob. Hey, yo, stop. Don't eat this shit, guys. Oh, man. Oh, my gosh. Ritsu's gonna, Ritsu's gonna tell on us or something. He's gonna be like, Rit this is not Ritsu. Oh my, these dudes are creepy. Look at them! Is that Velma back there? That look like Velma from Scooby-Doo. <laughs> hey, yo. Jinkies. Guys, he ate the candy. Let's put it together, man. I wish I could go in there and tell them. Like, hey, yo, he ate the candy, man. Yo, get out of my face, dude. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, we, we're running for our lives, man. Yeah, and the juice and everything. Is this old man brainwashed? Alright. Oh, man, be quiet before we start beating you up. <laughs> nah, I'm kidding. We respect your elders. <laughs> what the hell is this? <laughs> yeah, look at how regular this this stinks. Look at this old lady. She was the one from back there. She's watching us, man. Look at Dimple, yo. Ah, how will they feel when they find out who it is? How would Mob and Reagan feel? Not really. They're just mis under like misguided, I guess. Yeah, yeah, they're scummy. Dimple has a terrible way of leading. I don't know how to explain it, man. I mean, he is, but he didn't want to take the responsibility, so. Damn, yo! No way! He, 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 how did they get Reagan? How did they get Reagan? How did they get him? We were with him this whole time! Oh my gosh. Mob left! <laughs> the only one left in the city! My boy Mob Kun! 
Oh, this music is so fire! They oh wow, they're doing their thing. I love this. Wow! This is looking so good. Subomi, they definitely got her. Ah oh, man, that kind of hit different, yo. Cause even Reagan's okay. Hmm. Let me go back just a little bit. I'm going to watch that. Reagan saying what he said again. I don't think... There's no way Reagan is... No, nah, I don't think Reagan got the candy. I think Reagan is actually just being... Because let's be honest, right? Excuse me. I got like... I got like... Got to burp and stuff like what the heck. But Reagan, right? He's known for doing stuff like this. Like, let's not forget when we thought Reagan was like the main villain. We thought like everything was a hoax and then come to find out he just trolled. I think Reagan's doing this because he knows in a sense this this is what mob needs for development. Cause like let's really look at it in a sense like okay. Yeah, the psycho helmet founder guy isn't really bad. I mean I mean I disagree with that kind of I feel like um okay maybe he's not bad, but his means of how he's getting these his followers are bad. Like you're brainwashing people. People aren't coming of free will. And Reagan's saying like yo, bro. You're the one who didn't want to um, come step up and get your position. You know what I mean? You did this shit to the world. You put the broccoli there and you let it rock. You didn't want to step up and take on your position. So now these people found someone that they that you know wanted to step up and he wants to lead people who are confused and don't know what what's going on. Like, is he really a bad person? I mean, not really, right? Because it's kind of like a weird, um, weird. I don't know, there's a weird way of looking at it, right? I feel like I have to rewatch this episode uh, a few times. I like rewatching anime episodes just to see things I missed or I didn't understand the first glance. Because, you know, like I said, it's like, it's kind of weird, right? Like, because, yeah, he's doing something bad, but is he really bad? They're, the people are just minding their business. And they're not really... I guess it's more so the effect it's having on society in the world, like destroying the vegetation such as plants and stuff like that. And also the fact that people aren't doing this of their free will. The means of how this psycho helmet or how Dimple is handling things are bad. They're terrible means of handling things. When Mob originally left things the way it was, basically people were joining the psycho helmet. All those followers they they got was off of free will. People were so like taken aback with what happened and so like shocked about it that they joined because they didn't know what was going on. You know what I mean? And that's how it started. And th that's how Mob liked it. Mob liked the fact that people were able to just join and be part of this group or this cult, if you want to say, without being forced. But Dimple, on the other hand, the only way Dimple ever had followers was by doing underhanded schemes such as brainwashing and getting people, you know, like that. That's his uh, Dimple's uh, methods. And Mob doesn't agree with that. People should naturally gravitate towards it. And honestly, seeing Mob pull up over there and then everyone's like, oh, the second psycho helmet. We know Mob is obviously here to stop Dimple and stop him in his tracks. You know what I'm trying to say? Honestly, to believe it's the fourth episode. And there's just so much content left because how long is this psycho helmet arc going to be? How long are people going to be brainwashed and seeing all those familiar faces in the crowd like Subomi, uh, you know, Mazato, Ritsu. What's going on with Ritsu? Did he? Obviously, Ritsu got defeated, right? Because... I mean, not Ritsu, Teru. I was talking about Teru. Teru is obviously defeated. I, like, come on. Like, there's no way he's not defeated. Because we... Now, Dimple's still roaming around. And we don't see Teru anymore. So, I wonder what he did to subdue him. Because Teru could fight past the brainwashing. I wish Teru would have went to Mob and Reagan before pulling up on them. But, you know, he was too enraged off the simple fact that... Yo, they tried to brainwash me. Like, what the heck's going on? And I guess at that point, he wasn't really thinking with his head, but more so with his emotions of anger. Like, why are you trying to brainwash me? Like, what are you doing? And Ritsu, on the other hand, couldn't fight past the brainwashing. So that was kind of crazy to me. But then Teru did mention that if you have strong enough emotions, you can fight past that brainwashing. So, yo, man, I'm, this, is, this is crazy. This is really crazy. Like, I'm liking how things are really um, getting, you know, serious and we're leading towards this final arc it seems like every episode mob is just 
defining himself more and try and going outside of his character like for example him even showing up here to be one of the true like the true founders or the original founder you can say and of course with the help of reagan because like i said i still feel reagan is because we didn't see reagan get brainwashed unless reagan was brainwashed from the very beginning right and the whole time he pulled up a mob everything was an act to get mob out if they it's something along those lines but no i feel like reagan was himself i feel like this is all part of reagan's plan to motivate mob to do this to put his foot forward and whatnot and honestly like <laughs> this dude series i will f school right now i ain't gonna hold you reagan talk about uh series I will, like i'm like this whole time I'm like hey yo, where's series I will? he like we need him like ritsu is cool right ritsu mob but i think we need all hands on board we need ritsu mob serizawa teru reagan uh yeah yokai hunter <laughs> we need everyone bro like we need everyone man but thank you guys so so much for watching if you made it to the end you are amazing yo peace